Good afternoon, happy weekend, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special edition of The Page brought to you by 24-7 Sports. As always, Cameron Taylor, along with Noah Matthews and Kobe Andrews, and you may be wondering why we aren't at our normal time today. We already did an episode for this week, but we decided since it is playoff time for the football world that we would do a little bit of a prediction show to give our opinion on what's going to happen in the next coming weeks. So I guess we'll hop right into it. So here we have our wildcard matchups, our divisional matchups, and our conference championship. So our first game is Titans at the Chiefs. Okay, uh, so I'm going to pick the Chiefs here, just flat out, just letting you know. Um, <laughs> they have way too many offensive weapons, Tyreek Hill, uh, Kareem Hunt. I'm going to write Alec, that down for you. Yeah, Alex Smith. Oh, so we got Kobe going Chiefs. Uh, and the Titans don't have DeMarco Murray. So that's going to be a big loss with Derrick Henry getting way too many snaps. Okay. For me, personally, I'm also going to pick the Chiefs. Let me write that down here. Um, I'm going to say that's because I can't think of a single portion of the team where the Titans <laughs> have the uh, advantage. Alex Smith better than Mariota. The weapons on Kansas City are better than the weapons on Tight on the Titans, and the defense for Kansas City is better even without Eric Berry. So you can also put me down for Kansas City as well. Clean I agree. Sweep. Clean sweep here. Kansas City does, uh, sorry, Tennessee does not have the weapons that Kansas City has. Um, I think Alex Smith is a better quarterback than Marcus Mariota, at least this year. I think he'll be able to pull through on this one uh, in the wild card round. So our next game is the Falcons playing in Los Angeles against the Rams. Um, I, <laughs> sorry, I, I think that the Falcons are actually going to pull the upset here. Uh, it's, it's going to be a high-scoring game. Both offenses can score points, but uh, these four names are going to be the difference for the Falcons. Julio Jones, Mohamed Sanu, Devontae Freeman, Ryan, uh, what's his face? Matt Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Matt, as in the quarterback, yeah. Matt Ryan? Yeah, what's his face? Okay, so Matt Ryan. Okay. Right, so ATL for me. All right, do you want me to go next, Claude? Yeah, you can go next, Claude. All right, so Claude. I guess we're not going to have a clean sweep the whole time because I'm going Los Angeles Rams right here. My big names, Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, Ooh, a lot of Robert Woods, Sammy Watkins, and, of course, the illustrious former Redskins offensive coordinator, Sean McVay. I like this Rams team full of offense, full of youth. I watched the Falcons this year, and I, you know, I may be, I actually think I'm a little bit of an underdog saying this, because I do think that the Falcons are the safe choice here, but... Despite the fact that they're the wild I, I've, I've watched the Falcons play all year, and they just, their offense seems stagnant, they seem very inconsistent, and the one thing we have seen from the Rams is a very consistent high-scoring offense, so I am going Los Angeles Rams over the Atlanta Falcons. All right, that leaves it down to me, and I'm going to break the tie here. Dang it. With yes, the, I'm also going with the Rams. Yes, I think Minnesota, or not Minnesota, what am I talking about? I think Atlanta <laughs> definitely has a chance to go through and pull the upset, if you could call it an upset, because it's going to be a very evenly matched game. But let's not forget that the last playoff experience that the Falcons have is losing <laughs> a, blowing a 25-point lead to the Patriots. I think that trend continues, and I... I honestly think with the Rams' defense and with Todd Gurley, Todd Gurley is going to go for three touchdowns and 175 total yards. Bold predictions. Todd Gurley leads this Rams team to victory and maybe even victory in the next round of the playoffs as well. Okay, so I guess we take the 2-1 lead there. We have Rams over the Falcons here at the page. So we're saying Rams over Falcons. Colby disagrees, but he's gonna have to go with it. That's a two-one oh, dub for but us. It's a fairly easy one to yeah, disagree I, I, with. But I really more so than others. I really do think it's gonna be a good game. Oh, I yeah. think if the Falcons win, it's because of Matt Ryan's experience yep. and that team's exactly. overall experience. No, and if they if they win, it's gonna be because of Julio Jones. L losing in the Super Bowl is a driving force too. Um, but we also That's... can't forget the fact that Julio Jones can go three catches, thirty yards, one game, and. 12 catches, 224 yards, and three scores the next game. So It's going to depend on which Julio shows up. So I think this one's probably going to be unanimous, but we have the Buffalo Bills squeaking into the playoffs, <laughs> playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Colby, let's hear what you got for this game. Uh, the Jags winning. Cause the Pretty Blake, safe bet. Yeah, Blake Bortles is going to win the QB battle. Um, 
the Jacksonville's amazing defense is probably going to be the one that wins it, though, because I have a feeling that Blake Bortles, with not a whole lot of experience in the playoffs, um, he's probably – the nerves are going to get to him. Same thing with Jared Goff. Um, but I think that Blake Bortles will, you know, maybe throw a pick, maybe even a pick six, but his defense will probably carry him okay. to the next round. All right, so Bills at Jags. Noah, opinion? All right, I'm also going to go with Jacksonville. <laughs> the best player on the Bills team is LaShawn McCoy, who is very, very hurt right now. Also he very is, inconsistent. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. LaShawn McCoy is pretty consistently good. He's injured. Um, yeah. Except for when he's injured. Yeah. But this, Tyrod, er, this Jaguars team is going to force at least two interceptions off of Tyrod Taylor with the best uh, cornerback duo in the NFL in Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye. Jalen Ramsey, first time, all first team, all pro. And Jalen Ramsey is, in my opinion, one of the, arguably the best cornerback in the NFL, at least this year. So right. I'm going to go with Jacksonville. So you're going Jacksonville. Um, as much as it hurts me to say this, just because I'm a tech guy, Virginia Tech Hokies, I never want to see Tyrod Taylor have a bad day. But I do think he has a bad day against this bad, uh, against this Jags defense. I think it'd be awesome to see the Bills actually get past the first round of the playoffs. I, I think it's amazing. Wasn't it a seventeen-year drop they broke? I think it's amazing to see them even in the playoffs. But with that defense and Blake Bortles is you obvious. Jacksonville. It's kind of weird saying this. Blake Bortles is the better quarterback here. Yeah. Jacksonville gets my vote. They are going to win this game. Easily. Not to mention the running game with Leonard Fournette. That's going to be huge for them. All right, so we have a clean sweep. A little review here. We have Kansas City three nothing. We have Los Angeles. Uh, we think LA is going to win. You still got Atlanta, and then we have a clean sweep of Jacksonville over the Bills. Our next game is probably going to be the most interesting, I would say, or my the one I'm looking most forward to of these four games is going to be the Panthers at the Saints. Colby, this are two teams who really came out of nowhere and they're really, really good meeting in the wild card matchup. So the Saints are two and zero this season against the Panthers, mm -hmm. winning like thirty four to thirteen in Carolina and beating the Panthers at home, which they're going to be playing at home uh, by like by like seven right. or ten. Um, and so it's really hard to beat a team three times in a season. Last time that happened okay. was like oh nine. So, so you're going to say Carolina? Uh, I'm actually not. Oh, it's oh. <laughs> it's really it's really hard to beat a team three times. But I think that Drew Brees, with his experience in the playoffs, going to a Super Bowl, you know, I think he's going to get it done. Okay, so you got the Saints. Drew Brees in the Saints. You want to mark that down for I us, will. Noah, for Colby. And then, Noah, what is... Do you want me to go first? I'll go. You go first. No, I'll go ahead. You're writing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to have to agree with Colby. As much as I love Christian McCaffrey and hate Cam Newton, so this I. team does not have the firepower that that Saints team has. Drew Brees, future Hall of Famer, Alvin Kamara, playing like nobody can touch him. I just, like you said, I, I do think it's hard to beat a team three times. But if anyone but, can do it, but if it's, anyone it's, can do yeah. it, it's going to be the Saints over the Panthers. All right. All right. So I'm going New Orleans also, right here as well. I also had this game finishing in overtime. I oh, do you? So we're gonna have a, by a field goal. I agree with that. I agree with overtime. that. I I really do think one team's going to dominate this game. I don't think it's going to be as close as y'all think it is. Oh, I think it's. I, th it's, I think I think Drew Brees. I think Drew Brees plays phenomenal in this game in, throughout this entire playoff. But I think he's going to play phenomenal in this game in particular. All right. Well. I told myself coming into this that I was going to pick one team that had won the wild card to win their game. And so I'm saving that for this game right here. I'm going with the Carolina Panthers for this uh, game. Uh -oh. I think it can be... <laughs> Yikes. I think it's going to be Wait, very... Do we want to make a bet on this or something? Because I, I just... No, because I'm not that confident. That, I don't see that happening. Um, I think that Luke Keekley has 25-plus tackles. What, one game? Yeah, yeah. Game, Wait, what is that? Uh, this is solo tackles and assisted tackles. Okay. Luke Keekley no, goes no. out there and dominates both Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram you know, from yeah. Alabama. You know, you know, you know if, 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 mm -hmm. if if I'm gonna if call Luke Keekley so Ingram. good, they would have beat the Broncos in Super Bowl Fifty. But yeah. well, the true. Broncos back then had uh, what's his name? Peyton Manning. Peyton. Oh, he was terrible in his last year. But that's no so, way. Well, 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 so 
Oh okay, yeah, so we have our wild card matchups officially done. We have right now we have the Chiefs oh, in a right clean in. sweep. Yep. So Chiefs, Chiefs would, would go be... to wait. Yeah. So, so I'll do a review while y'all figure Chiefs that out. Chiefs four seed. So they would go. Atlanta would go here to the Eagles. So oh, we no. here at the well, Panthers think the, the Chiefs will go Turn ahead and defeat the Six, Titans. Three, we have the Rams going over the Falcons, Jaguars over the Bills, and the Saints over the Panthers. Uh, this is the Jags. S so just the Chiefs. We will move into our Saints. divisional round now. Very beautiful job, Noah. I'm very impressed. I'm gonna <laughs> grab a grab a Chiefs. Chiefs. Yep. Is that the water while we're here? I spelled that wrong. It's E I, isn't it? No. No. You're right. I hate the eyes of the E. Okay, man. so <laughs> the divisional round matchups. First matchup we have Chiefs and Patriots, and I'll go ahead and start us off first. There's no doubt. There's, There's no, no doubt, doubt what's no. going to happen in this game. Tom Brady is the greatest player ever to play the game, and he will continue against the Chiefs. You guys want me to just go on and write down look, a clean slate yeah, there? Please, please. Not, not, not oh, quite. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, okay. Because I, I th come on. I mean, but that defense is going to get annihilated what by about Tom Brady in the offense. I, I'm going to uh, go and write that in for Cam and for it's, me. It's not going to be a close... Uh, it's going to be a close game, I think. Do you have the Chiefs? Probably, I don't have the Chiefs, but it's, it's, yeah. it's going to be a close game. And uh, reason being, uh, if you look back at week one, I know a lot of time to develop. Chiefs won like 40 to 27 or something. It's pretty dominant against the Patriots. I think that... That will, was with Eric Berry. That will... Oh, uh, well, shoot. But, oh, well. Uh... They'll still almost get it done, but Tom Brady will do one of his great comebacks, <laughs> great comebacks. again. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't see anybody stopping him there. Noah, I'm sure you just agree. You really have nothing else you can say. Tom, uh, Brady. Tom, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Cooks. I do have Tom Brady, like you said, pulling off a comeback. I think the Sheeps could wow. get up early. Okay. But I, 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 I don't. I think, I think the Pats are just going to roll. I do. Um, I really do. There's right. something about the Patriots. They always have a chip on their shoulder. This, this is going to so. be the most interesting game for me. I, I'm really having a tough time deciding here, so I may be an oddball, but oh, Saints, <laughs> Eagles. Saints are going to dominate flat out. <laughs> a, a, a Wentzless Eagles team. That's what, that's, that's what I was scared they're, you were to say. They're, well, they don't have their leader now. Their leader's on the sideline injured, so they're not, they're right, not so, going to be able to come back. All right, so everybody in this room knows that I am the biggest Carson Wentz fan. We all kind of. Ever to live on the face of this earth. I hate You said it. he's still going to win the MVP. But I, I, he is. I think he's still going to win no, the MVP. He's not. I, no. I hate the Eagles what about um, because, because I am a Redskins fan. I can't do another NFC East team. As I would so love to move them in. And to, to, Did you just can't do I would, it? I, I would so love to write their name in the next column, but I just can't do it. I got I, The Saints are going to win. Nick, so, Fol Nick Foles is not strong enough. So I'm not, I'm not the oddball. But... Ah, gosh, it hurts me to even see that that N-O next to my name Ooh. right there for New Orleans. Well, Please let me it. go on a comment on this. I think the Eagles lose this game no matter who they play between the Saints or the Panthers. Um, I think both of those teams would beat the Eagles. We saw what the Eagles did against um, we saw what the Eagles did against Dallas and against um, Oakland. Nick Foles is not the quarterback that can lead them to victory against teams like that against teams like the Saints or the Carolina Panthers. Okay, so next we have coming in, we said the Jags would beat the Bills, moving the Jags playing in the Steel City of Pittsburgh. So Jaguars, Steelers. Colby, you're the Steelers guy, so you're automatically going to say Steelers. Well, I know what you're going to say. It's going to be a close game. I think that the Jags will actually get out to a pretty big lead. Really? Honestly, yeah, like 21-10, 21-7. It's Something just, like that. But it's really going to come down to it's literally the it's, whole game is going to be it's going to be a field position. Steelers game offense turnovers. playing Jags defense the whole time. Yeah, they, they. I think the Steelers wide receiver core will outdo the Jags defense. Secondary and all the secondary. Yeah, okay. I, I honestly think. Noah, so what are you what are you putting? For you? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So <laughs> I I agree. I just I like I said it's going to be the Steelers offense versus the Jags defense the whole game. And I just don't think the Jags have what it takes to stop a Ben Roethlisberger and an Antonio Brown and a Le'Veon Bell. I 
I have the Steelers. Ooh. Easy, I, easily winning this game, I think. I am going with the upset. Jacksonville already Whoa. has defeated the Steelers once this year. Jacksonville? I am going with the Jacksonville. Steelers? Mm -hmm. they, already, they already beat them once this year. It was 30-9, um, but... Yeah, I think, the, I, think, I think the Steelers... <laughs> that was your water, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> I think the Steelers fail to show up. I think Antonio Brown plays very injured throughout this entire game. I think Antonio Brown is the wild card for this. If he is healthy, I'm giving it to the Steelers, but he's not healthy right now. So he if will. he can get healthy by that, that's a big if. I say the Steelers are going to win, but I am not betting on that. I am betting on Jacksonville pretty much being able to pick off Ben Roethlisberger. I think Ben Roethlisberger retires after this year after a very disappointing showing in the playoffs. I can see that. And I'm going to give it to Jacksonville. Right. As shocking as this is to see Jacksonville in the AFC Championship game. I'm I, I think you're on something, but okay. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I do. Um, but hey, you know what? We'll see what happens. Um, so we'll give that one to the Steelers. We have Rams playing at the Vikings. This game, I think a year ago, if you told me we'd see <laughs> the Rams playing the Vikings in the divisional round of the playoffs, you would probably shoot me and say I'm an idiot. But it's happening to very young, very quick, hot-hitting teams. And the Vikings actually, if they, you know, this is a team, could be the first team to play in a Super Bowl at their home stadium. So I know they want to see that. Who wins this game? I think we're going to have a little controversy here, gentlemen. I have the Vikings. Just, all right. Okay. I, they're a tough team to beat. They're 13-3 and three for a reason. And they got three starting quarterbacks. They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, uh... What's, I don't know, if, I hope I'm not pronouncing this right, Thielen? Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen. Adam yeah. Thielen. Thielen. He's yeah. awesome. Him. Uh, Case Keenum. Latavius Murray. He's going he's, he's, he's to go off. And a lot of people are forgetting the fact that this Minnesota team is without Dalvin Cook. Is without Dalvin They're Cook. without Dalvin Cook. They're, they would be, Watch out they would be the clear too, favorite, man. in my opinion, overall, for everything if they had Dalvin Cook. So, but are they your favorite? Do you, do and you I am going with Minnesota. Okay. Okay. I am going with Minnesota here. I think that Minnesota is the only defense that can basically beat the Rams. I so, think they contain Todd Gurley after his brilliant showing in the wild card round. And they are not able, the Rams are not able to overcome that with Jared Goff because Jared Goff has never played in a playoff game, which I get, I know that I'm saying it for them, but it's the same thing with the Vikings. So Jared Goff is not going to be able to. To lead the Rams to victory this or that week. He isn't. Okay. Here we go. I'm going with the Rams. I, I am. I'm going with the Los Angeles Rams. I'm going to be different, and I, I, I understand that I lose this matchup, but that's okay. Um, I just love this Rams team. I love Sean McVay. I don't know why. I just I really think they bring a Of course you know why. You're a Redskins fan. I just I just I just love the dynamic this team has. Their offense looks different than any other defense. Lots of different schemes. You know, they run that Tupac style of offense. We don't know what that is. He won't tell us what it is. But um always yelling names down there. I am um, gonna make a bold prediction for that game though. Our favorite player, uh, Sam Rogers, will score a touchdown. Of Hanover High School, Hanover. just down the road. Uh, okay, so our look, we all go to Lee Davis High School, which is in Mechanicsville. We're the Virginia. real Mechanicsville, Virginia. On the other side of the, the, the road is Hanover. And Sam Rogers, practice squad fullback for the Rams. They is, call him up to the active call, roster. Call him up to the active roster. And he scores a touchdown. But um, let me finish here. So I really like the Rams here. I do think... If, the, if this was an outdoor game, the Vikings would so win. Because no way the Los Angeles Rams play good in a cold Minnesota environment. I have the Rams oh, yeah. with the upset. I know that's not a popular choice, and I could very well be wrong. They could go either. I just like the Rams. I like, I really, this is probably my favorite matchup of any of the matchups we've talked about so far. Falcons-Rams and Panthers-Saints matchups. I, I really like those. All right, All right so, so a quick, right quick review of our divisional round. We have the Patriots yeah, over the Pittsburgh. Chiefs. We have the Saints over the Eagles, well, we have Steelers the Steelers over the Jaguars, and we have the Vikings over the Rams. And now we will move into our conference finals, and then head into our Super Bowl prediction here at the page, presented by 24-7 Sports. New Orleans. Saints. Gotta love playoff football, ladies and gentlemen. For sure. For sure. Definitely. Exciting time. Okay. All right, so our conference matchups. So we had the Patriots defeating the Chiefs, and we had the Saints, 
or sorry, excuse me. Oh my gosh, we had the Steelers beating the Jaguars, making it Steelers at Patriots. This is one heck of a matchup right here. Kobe, start us off, Mr. Steelers himself. Um, I know it's going to sound biased, but I actually have the Steelers winning. Oh, just, shocker. Just, shocker. I mean, I'm just going to say it just because of the way their last game ended. They could have won. Is it a catch? Is it not a catch? That whole situation going on. And this is last year's rematch for the AFC Championship. And, uh, you know, they have a history. They're the they, two, they have they, a history. They're the two AFC powerhouses. Oh, and I think this is heightened so, just by the whole James is, Harrison situation. They, yeah, and James. They yeah. hate each other. Oh, my gosh. So, I have the... This the would be my ideal matchup to see in the AFC Championship game again. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a shootout. Um, yeah. One, if... The only way Pittsburgh wins this game is if they can pressure Tom Brady. That is the only way they win this game, James Harris. Mm -hmm. But, but I'm dude, gonna, I'm we also, go we, also we also have a question mark at the Rex Burke as Rex Burkhead is your running back. He's a guy who's showed up some weeks and been terrible um, others. But you also got to keep in mind the Patriots have three or four running backs right. every single game that can they, go. And they have Rex Burkhead. They have Dion Lewis. They have there's a few others too. Yeah, but no James White. No, no like last year's Super Bowl hero. No standout guy. Um, you're going Patriots. I'm going Patriots. I'm also going Patriots for this matchup. Um, you can't stop that Brady magic. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we'll be, all right. He's so, going to retire after this year if he wins the Super Bowl. I, he bold, could. Bold prediction. He could. No, I, he could. <laughs> Very, I, same thing. I, I think the same thing with Roethlisberger if they pull it out. I think Roethlisberger retires even if they don't win a Super Bowl. He was talking about hanging game. up last year. All right, so we had the uh, Saints... Beating the Winsless Eagles, and we had the, uh, the Vikings beating the Rams, as sad as it is to say, <laughs> leaving a weird NFC matchup. Saints playing. Going into this year, who would have thought USA that, Bank. that would be the Play matchup that you see? At USA Bank Stadium. So, what do we got going on here? Home uh, crowd magic. All right, no, never mind. That's the Super Bowl. What am I talking about? Even <laughs> still, home crowd magic. <laughs> yeah. no, shut up, guys. All right, the Vikings take this. They are the only defense that can stop the Saints' offense. They're going to do the same thing to Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram that they did to Todd Gurley. And Case Keenum, as difficult as this is for me to say and as odd as this is to say, <laughs> is, I love about, it. is about to lead the Minnesota Vikings without their best offensive weapon in Dalvin Cook to a Super Bowl, being the first team leading their going to a Super Bowl at their home stadium. Here, here's what I want to say. That's crazy. Here's what I want to say. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. When that defense is as good as it is. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. This proves that the Josh McCowns and the Brian Hoyers of the world. Trent Dilfer when, was better than Josh McCown and Brian when Hoyer. Put, when put with a decent team, average quarterbacks thrive. And that's what we've seen from Alex Smith this year, I think. Uh, I but, consider Alex Smith more than average. But here's... Yeah. But... I, you're gonna go Vikings, right? Yeah. Okay. I am honestly like I am honestly about to make this decision on the spot because I really don't know what I'm gonna do here. Um, God, I, I'm gonna have to give this game probably to Minnesota as well. I really do. I just the home crowd. Don't ask me why. It just I just have this gut feeling. I this is I, this will be a very close game. Oh yeah, very. Maybe close. not as close as this one still. This one's yeah. going to be the closest game of the entire playoffs. Let's, let's, let's just put, right let, as much as you would think that the NFC Championship game is going to be a high-scoring game, it is not going to be. If this turns into a shootout, the Vikings will lose. But if the Vikings defense can uh, the Vikings defense can hold the Saints, and I believe that they can, then it's the Vikings to win. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we've been through the whole playoffs, and it is time. Super Bowl 52 brought to you from USA, U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota, will be the Vikings in their home stadium and the Patriots. Gentlemen, who do we have winning Super Bowl 52? Gosh, that's a tough one. Why? Uh, you think this is tough? Yeah. All right, I'll go, I, first. I'll go first. You know, I'll go first. Patriots, sorry, the Vikings, your miracle run. Move out of my way. I thought you said the Patriots, but I thought you were going up there. Your miracle play. run is over. Tom Brady puts you in your place. Tom Brady may retire. He gets that sixth ring. Him, Bill, Chick, and Kraft all run into the sunset happy. And we see Tom. We could see Tom Brady again next year doing the same thing. Tom
Tom Brady, Super Bowl, you're going to go. I'm also going with New England. Tom Brady puts it in, just like he said. He basically took everything I was about to say. Puts it into the Vikings' miracle run. Tom Brady leads the Patriots to a Super Bowl. His only... This could be the... This could be the best defense that the Patriots have faced in a Super Bowl. And that's saying something, no, some of the other defenses that they've played. That's the exact reason why I take the uh, Vikings. What? But Actually, I think this will be Tom, I think this will be yeah. one of Tom Brady's crowning achievements, beating a team at their home stadium in the Super Bowl. And Tom Brady retires after this year. Okay. If they, if they win. It's going to be the Let Vikings. me see your magical marker. So we have Colby taking... Ah, that's you. What? Oh, that is me. New England. Oh, my bad. I already knew fine. New Colby. England, and we have Colby taking Minnesota. Minnesota. All right, so from our family here at the Page Sports, it is finally official on record. We have the New England Patri New England Patriots taking another Super Bowl. Tom Brady getting ring number six. That's magical. I know you disagree. <laughs> uh, let's do a quick recap here, boys. So we have our first round wild card matchups. Um, we have the Chiefs beating the Titans. We have the Rams taking the Falcons. Bill, uh, Jags taking Bills. And Saints beating Panthers in some good games. We move to our divisional round. Patriots taking Chiefs. Saints taking the Wentzless Eagles. I'm going to refer to them as that forever now. <laughs> Wentz, until they get Wentz back. Until they get Wentz back. The Wentzless Eagles. We have Ben Roethlisberger and his Steelers dismantling Blake Bortles, who has been also called trash. And we have... <laughs> All right, DeAndre Hopkins. The one I disagree with, the Vikings beating Sean McVay's Rams. Let, actually, let me just say something really quick. It's going to be something if not a single wild card team takes a victory over the divisional winners. And then, so. finally, we move into our conference matchup. Patriots edging the Steelers in a very close game. We have the Vikings beating Drew Brees and his Saints. With the Patriots and Saints meeting, meeting at U.S. Bank, home field advantage could play for the Vikings, but I think this one is all Tom Brady, ladies and gentlemen, right there. So you heard it here, folks. One thing I want to say is this, just look at the teams on this, this board right here. I love this. I think we see a lot of new teams, a lot of fresh faces. So I think this is one of the best playoff brackets we've seen in a long time. I think um, two things, actually. Looking back, going into this season at the six longest droughts of playoff droughts, specifically the Bills, the Jaguars, the Rams, the Titans, those four were all in the top six longest playoff droughts. And we see four of the top, top six teams here. Times are changing in the NFL, folks. That's right. And the youth movement is here. And I, for one, love it. And I can't wait to see it play out. But we still do think here at the Page Sports, the... the youth movement may be here, but Tom Brady is going to take that trophy back up to New England one more time. Any final comments before we wrap up here at the Page? The NFC is far superior to the AFC, despite that's... the fact that the Patriots are going to win it all. That's a conversation for another time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> We have, on behalf of the entire 24-7 sports family, we have the Patriots winning the Super Bowl, Noah Matthews, Colby Andrews, this is Cameron Taylor, hoping everybody has a fabulous 2018, thank you for joining us, please subscribe, please share, Patriots, your 2017, or 2018 NFL champions, have a wonderful rest of your day. I can cut this out. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs>